So it's time to get our little boys out of this area and into some sunlight. Let's see how we do it. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And if you guys don't know, we just had our our first freshening. So our mama goat gave birth to two little baby bucks. And we've had them in, in this pen. We started them here at first. Then we kind of opened it up to this area. And it's going to be sunny and warm for the next, pretty much for the next week. So we want them to get outside and get a little bit of air and sunshine, but we don't want to have all the other goats and chickens and everything to be able to get to them. So we need to kind of create a, a barrier from this area, kind of a kind of an outside run for them. And we had thought about doing this. We want to take down a couple cattle panels that we have over in our garden. We're going to take those off, repurpose them and make a little, um, a little run for these little guys so they can get out there and play in the sunshine. All right, so to make this project happen, what we're going to do is take down these two cattle panels. We're only probably going to need one of them, but they're all kind of interconnected, so we're going to take them both down. And I hate how this is set up anyways, because it's just too short right here to get through, and I keep bumping my head all summer long, and it makes me angry. So we're going to take this down, repurpose it, and uh, get some goat areas set up. All right, so we got this cattle paddle on, off, I should say. Uh, so I have one on. These things, we put this stuff in really good. It was really hard to get off. So, but uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut this into three equal parts. And then we can kind of uh, make like a, a little three-sided box with some zip ties on the edges to kind of hinge it. So we can remove it or move it wherever we want to at that point. This is gonna go kind of in front of that door like we said earlier, just so those goats can get out and get a little bit of air. And of course, we're gonna, this is gonna be the bottom because these holes are a little bit smaller up here. We're gonna put some hardware cloth all along this side and um, just the little, the little rug rats can't get out and escape. We won't need to go up too far. They can't jump too high and get through there, but I think this would be good enough, whatever that two foot, two and a half foot should be working great. So how we're gonna cut this is we're gonna use our angle grinder here. I tell you, this is one of the best tools that we have purchased on the homestead by far. We use it to cut this metal, we use it to cut hardware cloth, chicken wire, super quick, super easy, uh, not ter terribly expensive. Uh, there are different models, you can get even get the um, Harbor Freight kind. Like I said, if you don't have this in your homestead, you really should. There'll be a link down below from the one in Amazon. Take a look at it. Like I said, you can get them anywhere, but this is really a really good tool for you. So we got these things cut and this is what we were talking about. We're just going to zip tie these in the corner together. We're going to kind of make them loose so they can fold in. And then if we need to, we can, once we're done kidding, we can just store this in behind our barn and then every year we can bring it out, zip time again so we can reuse it. So, or repurpose it for something else down the line. But that's our next step. So we had some extra hardware cloth in the barn. So this is what we're gonna, this is actually gonna be the top. We're gonna turn this over and we're gonna zip tie it down. So it gives it a good two feet there where the goats won't be able to jump. So we'll just get this turned around, get this attached. And then we just gotta figure out how to attach it to the doorway. So we got the little outside area set up. We have it somewhat permanently attached. We use these K 
cable screw clips. If you go out and look at your coax cable, more than likely that's what's around your coax cable in your house. And we just have it, it fits really nice on this. We just have it kind of attached to the wood. Since we have the wood, we're able to kind of stretch and kind of bend this around as we needed it. And it's pretty super solid, especially for the little ones. And then we just used another piece that we had as like a little gate. So we can go in and out. And then we can close it on up. However we want to do that here. Typically we would just leave it like this. So it's a little bit easier for us to gate up there. And then now the kids can be out. You want to let them out, see if they'll come out? I know, I know Mama's going to come out. Come on, Mama. You want to come out? Yeah, get some sunshine. Get some shine, sunshine, baby. So this is really the first time for the for the other ghosts to see the babies. Yeah. So this is Sutton, and this one's Morgan. They were sleeping. We woke them up. But this is the first time that they've been outside. So this is going to give them a nice little play area. <laughs> Look how the other goats and are trying to interact with Maisie. Yeah. Yeah, she's in confinement right now, guys. She's locked down just like the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah, sweet baby. You want down? Yeah, you got some new area to explore. They may be a little sluggish. They just got done taking a nap, so we woke them up during their nap. Well, as you can see, the goats are loving their little outside area. The boys are climbing on stuff, knocking each other off, playing like crazy. So cute to watch them. You gonna let Sutton up there? You gonna let Sutton up there? Maybe not. And we have one more of these uh, cattle panels that we have. So whenever Spice has her babies, whenever that may be, and we, if we have them in here, we can actually make another one for hers. They don't have the, the cover up top, but if they want some outside time, we can do that. So, but guys, thanks for coming back, watching this video all the way to the end. Make sure to check us out on Facebook or Instagram, especially if you want some cute baby goat pictures. There's plenty of them up there. And, um, we're going to keep having a lot of content on goats, gardening, and all kinds of stuff here to do on the homestead. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified every time a video comes out. And if you know of anybody that wants to learn how to garden or any of those kind of things, make sure that you uh, share your videos out to whoever that may be. And from our homestead years, have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.